elegant nose can do My gift is my song It's one of my favorite songs, Robin. That is called Your Song, and it is written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Hi, we're Robin and the Giant. Welcome to Notables, the well-sung heroes of songwriting. And today we are featuring lyricist Bernie Taupin and composer Elton John. Elton John was born on March 25, 1947, in Pinner, Middlesex, England. Elton John is a stage name. His birth name is Reginald Kenneth Dwight. His father was a Royal Air Force trumpet player. And Bernie Taupin was born three years later as Bernard John Patchett Taupin on May 22, 1950 in the southern part of Lincolnshire, England. His father, Robert, was a former soldier in the English and French armies and was employed as a stockman by a large farm estate. His mother, Daphne, stayed at home to care for Bernie and his older brother, Tony. The boys attended Catholic school in Sleaford. Reggie Dwight began playing piano at the age of four, and when he was 11, he won a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music. After studying for six years, he left school to try his hand at the beckoning music business. In 1961, he joined his first band, Bluesology, and divided his time between playing with the group, giving solo concerts at a local hotel, and running errands for a London publishing house. By 1965, Bluesology were backing touring American soul and R&B musicians like Major Lance, Doris Troy, and the Bluebells. In 1966, the band Bluesology became Long John Baldry's supporting band and began touring cabarets throughout England. Dwight became frustrated with Baldry's control of the band and began searching for other groups to join. He tried out and failed to be the lead vocalist in auditions to both a band called King Crimson and Gentle Giant before finally responding to an advertisement by Liberty Records. Though Dwight failed his Liberty audition, he was given a stack of lyrics by Bernie Taupin, who had also replied to the ad and had left with the label. Dwight wrote music for Taupin's lyrics and began corresponding with him through the mail. By the time the two met six months later, Dwight had changed his name to Elton John, taking his first name from bluesology saxophonist Elton Dean and his last name from John Baldry. Elton John and Bernie Taupin were hired by Dick James to become staff songwriters at his fledgling DJM in 1968. The pair collaborated at a rapid rate with Bernie Taupin submitting batches of lyrics every few weeks. And rumor has it that Bernie often wrote a song per hour. Elton John would then write music without changing the words and sometimes completing his part of the task in under a half hour. Over the next two years, the duo wrote songs for pop singers like Roger Cook and Lulu. And in the meantime, Elton John recorded cover versions of current hits for, for budget labels. And they were sold in supermarkets. <laughs> By the summer of 1968, Elton John had begun recording singles for release under his own name. Usually, these songs were more rock and radio oriented than the tunes he and Toppin were giving to other vocalists. Yet neither of his early singles for Phillips, I've Been Loving You Too Long, and Lady Samantha sold well. In June of 1969, he released his debut album for DJM called Empty Sky, which received fair reviews, but no sales. For his second album, Melton John 
and Bernie Taupin hired producer Gus Dudgeon and arranger Paul Buckmaster, who contributed beautiful string arrangements to the album. Released in the summer of 1970, the album was simply titled Elton John and began to receive airplay in America on the radio, where it was appearing on the Uni record label, which is a subsidiary of MCA Records. In August, he gave his first American concert at the Troubadour in Los Angeles, which received enthusiastic reviews as well as praise from Quincy Jones and Leon Russell. Throughout the fall of that year, Elton John continued to climb the charts on the strength of the top ten single by he and Bernie Taupin titled Your Song. The rest is history, as the writing team of Elton John and Bernie Taupin seemed to be an unstoppable hit-making machine throughout the 1970s. Many of their songs, including Your Song, Rocket Man, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, have become contemporary pop standards. Elton John and Bernie Taupin have contributed tremendously since the 1960s. That is why they are featured in Notables, the well-sung heroes of songwriting. And I would like to end today's segment with the song Daniel, one of our favorites. Daniel is traveling tonight on a plane I can see 